the difficulty is there's very few places that actually can spawn these muscles and make baby muscles of the quantities of the common species that we'd be targeting to really make a difference and see the needle move on water quality. You're going to need to restore these beds in a major way. And so to make that cost effective, you know, we're really looking to um, develop a muscle propagation facility where we can produce seed, sell it to growers, sell it to restoration projects. And that technology has been around 100 years or more. We ran a pilot hatchery for a number of years. There's other groups who have demonstrated the technology works. We know how to do it. And it's simply now, you know, getting over that hump with getting a facility um, that can really mass produce baby mussels. We're working with the Fairmount Waterworks to show people with an, a really new and inv innovative exhibit how to propagate mussels, showing that we have the technology and trying to show people why we should be doing that. Uh, we're also looking at trying to build a production hatchery where our target is half a million to a million baby mussels per year. The freshwater mussels, you get hooked on them pretty quickly once you really start learning about them. They're like the ultimate underdogs in the ecological field. Not many people know about them. Not many people understand how important they are for water quality, for habitat enrichment, for the ecology and the health of our rivers and streams. So then, as a scientist, you're thinking, how can that be? Why is that? How do they derive nutrition in these streams? And uh, why are they the most imperiled of all plants and animals in the world? Why are they, um, you know, really disappearing so quickly? And, you know, why would they need a fish to reproduce? I mean, as an ecologist, it's just there's a whole world of questions that are really unparalleled in the marine environment.